Well, hello there, and welcome to episode 80 of Coffee Break Blogging. Today, we're going to be discussing a little bit more about the whole idea of our email list. We are in phase three of the overall seven-phase system to building up our online business. And what we're going to be talking about today is the one blog, one list strategy that most bloggers are using. So basically, what I'm referring to here is the fact that most bloggers who have an email list and have heard all about the importance of of building up an email list, what they will do is they will have one email list to their one blog. So in the, and they're basically doing the one list to one blog strategy. And so that also means that generally there's one lead magnet given away often in the sidebar. You opt in for that thing and then you are on quote unquote the list. Now, the thing is, too, as a subscriber, uh, you're basically getting the exact same thing that everybody else is getting. So that's the big thing that I want to talk about today with the one blog, one list strategy is that you're essentially sending the exact same email to everybody on your list. You're treating all of your subscribers exactly the same because they all had one common entry point into the list and you don't really know anything else about them. Now, one of the things that I've talked about on this podcast before is the fact that in reality, our email subscribers are different. They're not all the same. They might be united by one very overarching niche that it is that you're talking about, but within that, there are these sub interests, we could say. I mean, I've, you know, at the Blog Marketing Academy, I can pretty much know that everybody who comes here is interested in blogging. But blogging is a humongous topic. Underneath that, we've got everything from membership sites to building your list to uh, themes to, I mean, whatever you want to come up with, there's a lot of little subtopics. And so if I treated all of my email subscribers exactly the same, then I'm really shooting myself in the foot because what's going to happen is anything that I say is going to land, uh, uh, you know, for some people, it's going to have an effect, it's going to get them to take action, but a majority of them will not. They'll just scan the email and delete it because they weren't interested. So the alternative to one blog, one list is having some basic segmentation. You've probably heard about the idea of segmentation before, but it's the idea of dividing your list up into groups. And these groups are going to be based on actions that those subscribers have taken or things that they've indicated interest in. And you do that by how you actually structure your email system. The whole idea here is that you want to send the right message to the right person at the right time. And you want to get as close to that as you can. At the end of the day, you could get really fine-tuned with this, but it's going to be really difficult to do with some email systems. I mean, if you're with AWeber or MailChimp or what one of these what I call linear email systems, it's a little harder to do this. If you're with somebody like Entreport or Infusionsoft, it's a lot easier because they work based on tagging and sequences and it's just a whole different thing. But we wanna get as close as possible to the idea of being able to send the right message to the right person at the right time, which means every subscriber is being treated individually, not as a huge collective. Now, the way that we're going to do this is that we're going to use our email lists as our list segments. Now, I'm primarily speaking to those of you who are using somebody like MailChimp or AWeber or one of these linear systems. A lot of bloggers make the mistake of thinking, well, okay, I can uh, have I have multiple lists capability inside of AWeber, which you do, and they think, okay, well, I, I guess I could run multiple blogs out of the same AWeber account. And you could, but I don't want you to think that because AWeber calls that thing an email list, it's, it's a big collective. Really, you want to treat each email list as a segment, not as the quote, the list, okay? So basically, let's say you have different lead magnets out there. Now, this is a great way to segment your list. So instead of having one thing that you give away to get people on your list, you can have a, an army of these things. Let's say you have five of them. Now, depending on what lead magnet they opt in for, they've just indicated that they're interested in whatever it is that that lead magnet is about. So it, you want to have each of those lead magnets get people onto a different email list. 
not the same list. You don't want to put each of your five lead magnets onto the same email list because then you won't have any way to differentiate them. Okay. And that's, that go, that's not segmentation. You want to be able to segment these people and know exactly what they're doing and what they're interested in. So you want to have different lead magnets, different ways of getting onto your list, and you want each of those things to go onto a different email list. Now, to speak to those who you have multiple lists for the same blog, and you can get confusing on that. Like, how do you know what to send to who? Well, when you send out to um, a your subscribers with AWeber, you can actually check off boxes to say, I want to send out to these lists and I want to exclude these other lists. So basically what it comes down to is you treat your entire AWeber account as your list, but it, but within that account, you've got various what AWeber calls lists, but you just realize that they're just a block of your subscribers. They're, that's not the list, okay? It really is a terminology game at this point, but we I want to make sure that you adjust your mindset accordingly so that we start thinking of our list in terms of segments and not as this big collective where everybody's the same. So here's what I would like you to do uh, to put this strategy to use. First of all, I, I encourage you to go back to episode 42 of Coffee Break Blogging. In that episode, I talked to you about the transformation map. Uh, it's a very simple tool uh, the, uh, that I created that, to map out the transformation that you're in the business of delivering. Um, I talked about back in phase one of this overall process with Coffee Break Blogging, where I talked about the transformation and how your best businesses, your best foundations for online business is going to be where your prospects are seeking a transformation of some kind, um, where they're, they're trying to achieve something. And so at point A, which is now they don't have it. And at point B, they do. And, and, you know, and that you'll see that template in a lot of different markets. Now, the transformation map that I talk about in episode 42 is a plan to actually map out what the general steps are of this transformation. Understanding, of course, that everybody goes in different pathways and stuff like that. But there's typically certain barriers, certain things that you're people are going to have to overcome to achieve the ultimate aim, the ultimate goal that they have. So you want to understand what those basic steps of the transformation are. You know, if, if you're looking to follow along in the transformation that I deliver at the Blog Marketing Academy, well, there'll be t typical barriers that come up. Things like, I need to to tweak a theme. I've got to choose hosting. I've got to write my uh, my first batch of content. I've got to, you know, set up my social media profiles. You know, these are basic things that pretty much everybody is going to have to do. And so they're basic steps in the transformation. So you need to apply this transformation map idea to what you're doing so that you can map out and get a general outline. Now, once you've got that general outline, what I want you to do is divide it up into four or five different segments or different major areas that map out to your transformation. And I want you to create a lead magnet for each one. You know, so the, the, the ones that I just mentioned, which the idea of choosing hosting or getting your blog set up, that might be uh, one of the main steps, the beginning of the transformation that I deliver. And I can go and I can create a lead magnet just around that one topic. So the whole idea would be that if anybody opts in for that lead magnet, I know where they are in the transformation and I can talk to them accordingly. If they're at a point where, um, you know, the one of the other barriers that they would have to get over in the transformation is how to um, get traffic to the blog content that they publish, you know, again, all of us as blog owners are going to deal with that one, right? So I can give them a lead magnet that would be about the idea of how to maximize your traffic to every blog post that you publish. And I know that if they opt in for that lead magnet, I know exactly where they are in the game. I know what they're interested in. And I can then speak to them in the context of things like blog traffic, because I know that's where they're coming from. It's See, I hope that makes sense. It's really pretty simple how this works. Now, so you build a lead magnet in about around each one of these main uh, steps in your transformation. Now, you want to map each one of those lead magnets to a unique list. So build a new list for that lead magnet. Realize you're not building up a, a new whole email list here. You're ju it's just another segment of your subscribers that are going to be inside the same account, whether it be with AWeber or MailChimp or what have you. So one lead magnet 
to one email list, okay? And then any autoresponder that you set up on that uh, that list that's related to the lead magnet would just go onto that list for that lead magnet, okay? Now, one thing that I want to uh, clarify here is the idea of the general list. There's always that idea of the general list, uh, like a general newsletter list. So if you have people coming in from different lead magnets, then ultimately they're going to all end up on what's called the general list. So how do we do that? Well, you want to set up another list on your system. Just call it general list or whatever you want to call it. And that would be the general list. So what's going to happen is that when somebody subscribes to one of your lead magnets, they're going to get put on two lists simultaneously. They're going to get put on the one that's specific to that lead magnet, and they're going to be put on the general list at the same time. Okay, the general list, you can set up a autoresponder sequence on that, which does nothing but send send them your best content. Okay, and we'll be talking more about what kind of stuff you can send them in the next episode in episode 81. But this is all going to be just content. This is going to be things to deliver value to your people on the long run. Typically, the autoresponder that's going to go right next to your lead magnet or on that lead magnet specific list is going to be an offer of some kind, okay? So at the beginning, you put them on two different lists at the same time. With AWeber, you can do this using their automation rules that are built right into the account. So you can basically just say, if the person subscribes to list A, also subscribe them to list B. And that's how you would do that. Your opt-in form would be set up for the lead magnet specific list, and then you'd have the rule in place, which will also put them onto your general list. And that's how you do it, okay? Not particularly difficult, uh, but I also want to mention here at the, at the end that if this is something that confuses you, you might want to check out one of the action plans that I have inside the Blog Monetization Lab. And this one is called Build Your Blog Profit Funnel. Now, it is about setting up your sales funnel behind your blog. But in that action plan, I also describe and I show with a diagram how to actually map out these different lists and how they work together. So if, if I was you know, sending you a little cross-eyed there by talking about how to get them onto your general list and stuff like that. There is information inside that action plan. It's called build your own plot, blah, 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 blah. build your own blog profit funnel. And it's only available to members of the blog monetization lab. And you can learn more about that at blog monetization lab.com. Okay, so in the end, I'll just mention the one blog, one list strategy is flawed. You're actually not doing it right. It's Well, let's say this. You're still building a list. It's just not nearly as effective as it could otherwise be. The way to do it is to put segmentation into place and don't treat everybody exactly the same. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. I will see you in the next episode where we're going to talk about how to find good material to send to our email subscribers. I'll see you then.